How's it going guys? It's Max HP. I'm coming at you with another discussion video again about Fire Emblem Warriors. Now we are five days away from the Japanese release of the game so pretty much everything we could know about the game we already know thanks to Tokyo Game Show and with me I have three guests. Uh, introduce yourself in order of most subscribers. Uh, I, it's Mammal DXX. Uh, <laughs> What's up? Someone gonna talk? <laughs> I guess I'm next then. I, I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, uh, yeah, hello. Uh, Zerk Monster Hunter 4 here. Uh, I'm that trash bag who made a video about how marketing saved the Fire Emblem series. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm the Zero. I'm that one shit user who just uploaded a potion video. <laughs> well, when guys, was last you time said actually it. We can all go video. home. <laughs> Alright, that's our discussion. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're, Tokyo Game Show just happened, uh, so we pretty much know, I think, what the final roster of the game is. I think I don't think there's going to be any more character reveals. There could be one tonight, because I think there's another showing, but I doubt it. I think it's just going to be a recap. If there is, we'll, we'll put in our recordings later about it. If yeah, we'll, any, add, we'll add something. If they said it would be just gameplay. If there's any characters yeah. we don't know about yet, it's probably going to be uh, the playable villains who are probably yeah. unlocked through history mode, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, like and I think we, all right. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, I think we've got a good balance of different people and different opinions. So, I think, uh, Naz, why don't you start off with how you feel about the game right now? Alright, so Fates is shit. They should remove every character that's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. In the um, words of Voltaire. <laughs> Alright, so, um, this is what I think. This is what I think. I think the Fates cast is a little overwhelming because I do think that uh, Awakening had better characters in my opinion that could have been added like Sophia over Cordelia that's just me uh, we got Lynn not. boys <laughs> we'll, 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 talk, we'll talk about that but um <laughs> yeah we will um, I, I actually I'm inclined to agree with that um, I, I don't see the need to have all of the Fates Royals be in the game. I guess they. I guess they're in there for story purposes. That's that's what I would guess. Yeah. Can, but can. I think it's. First of all, it's they. I think they someone confirmed that Azura is not going to be in the game, which is ah! a huge missed opportunity. To be honest, that's just weird. To be honest, actually. And they, and they said awesome. and they said they did this because there are. They said there was already too many Fates characters in the game. Just take out Sakura. I'm sorry, Ooh, Sakura. Just take out Sakura. Yeah, we that's don't what really I'm need thinking. Sakura. Like, Azura has so much potential, she can, like, dance for other units and, like, increase their attack or something like that. Like, she it, can use water, man! Exactly, like, water, water here! Like, like, Tara, like, awesome. like, the way she, the, I think, like, the way she, mo she moves her lands and attacks could be, yeah. kind of, like, some dancing style. But, 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 no, we, 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 yeah, need like another, could, we need another, we need another boat user, another mounted mage yeah, user. Yeah, I, so I don't not? see the need for Sakura and Elise. I can, I can understand, like, Camilla and Hinoka, uh, Takumi and Leo, I get. <laughs> But, like, I don't see the okay. need for Sakura and Elise, especially since they're clones. Or if you're going to have them in the game, make them be, like, alternates for Each other. Leo and, yeah. um, and Takumi. That would be cool. I don't see the need. I didn't. I wouldn't see the need for them to be separate slots. Yeah. Um, and then, all right, so how do, you, how do you feel about it, Kyle? The game or just the fates? The roster in general. So you mean okay. fates? <clears throat> okay, no, listen. I'm happy with the roster, except for Azura. I really wish Azura was in. And Sakura, mm -hmm. I hate, I, okay. I don't like Sakura's character from Fates at all. Like, I, she's like my least but favorite. But Brianna Knickerbocker! She's like my least favorite royal, because she does absolutely nothing. But her gameplay looks amazing, and I love, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to main her because how amazing her gameplay looks. But either way, the cast looks good. We finally got Shadow Dragon characters. People were whining about that forever. Yeah. We got... We got Lynn, people were whining about that forever. We got Celica, people were whining about that forever, and you know. I actually it finally did not see whining about Celica. Yeah, let's why don't we, whine about why don't, older characters in general, and Celica is an older character. Why don't we talk about Lynn and Celica? Because their inclusion, while while appreciated, seems a little bit out of nowhere, I think, see, considering see, like what this game see, has. See, Max, I think my take on like Lynn and Sakura, not Lynn and Celica. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn and Celica being revealed, I actually think, like, they were originally planned to be, like, surprises. Like, when the game came out, it's like, hey, Lin and Selica are in this game. 
uh, and they were supposed mm -hmm. to be like the surprise secret characters. But I think they showed them as trailers, like in direct response to their complaining. Like I don't think yeah. they were added for damage control. Uh, I think that they were shown earlier than they wanted to be for damage control. Like it, it's not the sense of like they weren't ever going to be in the game or that they were originally DLC and have now been moved into the main game or anything like that. I think it's that they didn't originally plan on showing them off, which is why they feel so out of place mm. in left field. Well then, what? I, well, here's where I come in though, because like, oh, my, my, my pop build is going. Um, I like, my feeling is that like, well, first of all, I think Celica, Celica and Celica for sure seem like a last minute addition. Uh, considering the game was in development, you know, I think like either before or like around when Fates came out. Um, yeah, and, it's like, definitely or been echoes of Vecna. I, I would longer. think that it's and based on like her attack animations and what we've seen, like how they're very based in like in, Gu in Gaiden more than Echoes. I think they said like uh, Intel Intelligent Systems must have given them a character design. It's like here, put this character in the game, uh, and then they had to extrapolate from um, yeah cause from Gaiden just for a character model. Because like character. watching her gameplay she looks completely straight ripped from Zelda and Hyrule yeah she looks exactly like Zelda with the three yeah and the yeah she's yeah, very yeah. similar she's very similar to Zelda um so I, and, and, her, and I think her mod and just from my from what I see like her model looks a little bit like rougher than the other ones Zelda's oh, limbs yeah. not gonna lie they look a little eh like a little money I'm not sure, I guess. I'm not sure if that's Lins, because they, I'm not they, sure they didn't I last about or... render to be honest like her in game looks fine but her like HD render it looks like hashtag she yoga body. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like the bicycle shorts. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. Um, and then, um, I, don't, I forget. Jack, did I ask you your like opinion on the roster as a whole? Uh, no, you didn't. Um, well, what's your opinion on your roster as a whole? <laughs> my opinion on the roster as a whole, uh, I give it a, I give it a thigh out of ten. Uh, not enough to win. <laughs> we have five of them. Uh, we should have seven. Uh, as for anything else, like I could, I could really. Uh, Xander looks all right. I hope that Lynn, Lucina, and Celica all become best friends, and uh, I, that will be amazing. It'll yo, be the cutest thing. yo, It'll be like Lynn right and Celica support. Oh, God, I'll fucking love it. Lynn and Celica, great. That's my opinion. Dogens. Thighs out of ten. That was, I, I like, I, like someone did a translation of that of the support that they showed between Lin and Celica. That is the shit I live for for this game. That's yeah. what I want. Just like them discussing like parts of their lives that like have some commonality, like serious conversations. That's yeah. that's like some really good fan. That's like the good type of fan service that I love. Yeah, so like, I really well, like, like all the characters makes, are gonna say my parents died. True. It makes <laughs> it makes me really right. excited. Uh, then, like, considering our bread, the translated Lin and Celica support, and how they talk about how they're, like, they both were princesses basically alienated from their kingdom, but, like... Yeah, and, like, their differences. Yeah, but, like, that really excites me for, like, the, the possibility of a Xander and Camus support, like, if we ever Ooh. get Camus. If they're in the game, that's a good, yeah, you're, oh, you're right, I didn't even think about that. Like, if Ooh. Camus is in the game and Xander and Camus can talk to each other, that is going I to I would love be, for like, them really fucking I actually what I did see was a uh, Chrom talking Ryoma and I'm like oh Matt Mercer's gonna have fun with this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh Matt Matt Mercer's a fun dude. Like you ever see him DM critical role? I, that dude yeah, is just he's, nuts. <laughs> he's he's great. Yeah, he's Wait, fun. so on supports yeah. since we get supports between anyone, will we finally get to see Corin support with Corin? Yes. Shit you uh, right. Oh man! God. Custom get on that. Wouldn't that right. Like they're avatars. They're both avatars, right? Wouldn't that just technically be masturbation? No, 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 no. Customs <laughs> work. Customs work. <laughs> customs working on Shrek X Will Smith for Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh shut oh, up! Is he? Oh damn, yeah, that's awesome. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> All right. Anyway, and then so finally they revealed uh, Kata and Tiki. Finally, we pretty much already knew they were in the Tiki's so adorable. Oh, yeah. they, they leaked Kata earlier in the European trailer, and then. Uh, Tiki's had an amiibo, so we pretty much assumed. Oh yeah, but they're in the game. Uh, what Can do you think of them? Kata is beautiful. I love her. Yes. Uh, Kata, I, I really, I think, uh, 
something I've noticed uh, with the models, and you can see it especially in Keita and Lucina, is I think they're using the same skeletons and same facial structures, and then they're just kind of swapping out the details, kind of like knees. I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't that. know about that because Corin's face looks different from. Uh, the other one. So I don't know if they're d if that's really the case, because Corin looks very different. I don't know. It just Seda and Lucina's. That that one kind of looks like it's a maybe. Palette swap I don't back. know. I don't know. Uh, maybe otherwise, possible. Otherwise, Seda's design uh, it looks really good. I uh, same with uh, Small Tiki. They both look pretty good. Uh, yeah, I like the K. I like the K. Does uh, uh, even. I know people are like going off about like, oh, there's too many swords, but I actually kind of like that uh, K. has a sword instead of a lance. Um, no, she has a lance. All right. Wait, she has a lance. She does have a lance. Yeah, she has a lance. Sure? Yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you can I see thought, the I shaft the of the lance. Max, Max, see, Max, see, see, Max, you have not played. You have not played Fire Emblem One, right? You don't know the power <laughs> no. of the wing spear. Oh. Wing spear. I don't. I don't care if your Kata has one strength. She's one shotting people. <laughs> it is Fan that busted. I, I don't. I. I got. Uh, it's, uh, maybe I'll play Shadow Dragon one day. I don't. Uh, don't. We'll don't. See. Don't actually don't. don't do it. I actually don't. <laughs> okay. Very bad okay. idea. Yeah. All right. All right. Fine. Fair enough. Um, and Tiki, I think a lot of people were complaining about Tiki's um, move set, but I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Young Silly. Link from Pyro Warrior. Yeah, yeah. We're just tripping with the gigantic sword and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Because like the whole thing, he was one. Of, he was a pretty unique character when he when he came to DLC. So. And then when he like, turns to his special, he turns to like. Yeah, a, he turns to your Steed and just wrecks people. Just fucking sick. Like he's super overpowered. So Tiki, Ooh. it seems like Tiki will be similar and to to that. Yeah. Uh, where you can where like the the better you do in terms of killing enemies, the longer you can hold the form. Yeah. I think that's. How I just be I just it. love when I was watching the Tokyo Game Show. When once she transformed, people were like, "It's Godzilla!" Godzilla! Godzilla! I always uh, thought Godzilla was a Nissan, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> so right. Um, the other thing, the other thing I wanted to bring up was, um, you know, they have artwork of Anna in like the the, the poster of all the characters. Yeah. They have artwork of Anna, but they had never. Do you think she's gonna be playable? I, I yeah. think yeah. she is. Actually, she, I think she's she gonna was be in the like, some weird secret yeah. character though, like. When she shows up, if you have like a certain amount of gold, you have to like pay her to get on your units. And she's gonna, <laughs> yeah, would, she's gonna like fun. totally just freaking that would be cut fun. you dry out of all your cash. <laughs> but yeah, I think if the leak is real, then she's probably in the game as a playable character. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it seems like the leak is real. So then, yeah, I guess we're getting Anna. But go home, here's everybody. The, here's where I'm confused. Zerk surrenders his life in his pants. <laughs> 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 here's where I'm confused though, because. We saw like what appears to be Navar in one of the European trailers. But yeah. I don't know if they're gonna reveal him. In the like, Tokyo Game Show, they replaced him with Prom, and I just could not stop laughing. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe that's interesting that they had that, and but it doesn't seem like they're gonna reveal it. Cause is the character? Do you guys know if the character roster is like filled up? Filled up? Cause like. Well, well, they said they it would have off. the most characters of any crossover Musou game. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not familiar with the Warriors series, so I couldn't tell you what had the previous most. Uh, they said they have 26 art cards in the special edition, though. Yeah, I think it was 25, yeah. but... Um, 25 but that, I, think, I don't, that, I don't, I don't think know that counts if, um, the alternates. Yeah, I don't know if it counts uh, both Robins and both Corrins. It, prob it probably it, does. Do, they do something like that. Given their yeah, art yeah. cards, I would say so. And then the other thing I want to bring up, though, is, like, the Amiibo. Because they've said that all the Amiibo will be compatible. I think, I it's, gonna, the game, I everybody. think it's gonna be, like, you know, weapons. like, Hyrule Warriors, the weapons, yeah. Yeah, like, you think really, you Robin think gets a Levin Sword. Yeah, um, Robin gets Levin Sword, even though I'm pretty... Does it, I think he does have a Levin Sword. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, they might give, like, Lucina the Parallel Falchion. Like, I'm literally looking at, like, my Lucina and Robin Amiibo that I have sitting up on my shelf. I'm right looking now. at my Roy Amiibo and crying. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. There's, there's three, there's three you characters that are not in the game the right now that God. have amiibos. We yeah, have Roy, Ike, and um, all. Ike is a secret character. Just saying, right now, I, secret I, character. I, 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 I'm inclined to agree with you, Kai. I'm inclined to I'm say inclined that Ike to... is DLC just because then we can keep up the running joke of Ike never appearing at launch in any Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think he's. I think he might be a secret character. I really. I do. think he will be. I or he or here or the other theory is that he's he's like early access for people who have the amiibo, and then like a later patch will give him to everybody. Same yeah, thing see, with Roy. I can't see 
them doing like free DLC, to be honest. Yeah, that is yeah. a Warriors game. No, Hyrule, it, Hyrule Warriors did it. They did a free DLC? What? Wait, they what? did they, a free they, DLC medley, for the medley, villains, medley was that free. was like the very oh, last medley. thing that came medley out. Was medley free? was free? Yo, let me pull yeah. out my copy right now. <laughs> yeah, Medley yeah. was free. And then That's like right. the, the, the villains were free, like Sia, Volga, yeah. and Wizro. Oh, yeah, 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 but they were the very last thing that they added. Yeah, were they de- was, was that DLC or was that just in-game? I, well, they weren't playable at the base the game. They had the oh, there was an update that made them playable. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's true. So I don't know. Maybe there will be something, and on, that might be what they're doing. Going to do for the villains in this game, like Balor. So, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm Garen's sure. Garen's in the game. Garen. I'm gonna call uh, it right now. Garnet. I'm gonna call it right now for the story. The big plot twist: Darius is the Dark Dragon. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> that is Probably. you might be, be true. Right. Yeah, like you yeah. Right. It looks like evil bad guys. So yeah, <laughs> I awesome. believe it. That's um, my prediction. To be honest, yeah. if Garen was in the game, that'd be sick. This would be yeah, I really, like, I really like, want to play It would just Garen. be his like stretchy arms that he had made. So oh, all dude. Me- messy. Oh, you spoiler know, alert. That, that might be. That could be like his magic bar transformation, like similar similar to how yeah. he has his. He could like he could like be normal Garen for like just normal stuff, and then like when he has the magic meter, he turns to like yeah more like, range and Garen. stuff like that. More range, high, harder attacks. That would be cool. Oh, Garen. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I guess I think that's enough about the roster. The other thing we they showed off. No, I, I, most part, I could talk for hours about Lin Max. Like you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I know you could, Wait. but then it will be a repeat of last time we tried to record a podcast where we just Did ramble I? on forever. I don't think I went for hours. Uh, never mind. It doesn't Can I just matter. Bring up a quick point. Yeah. We have two Pegasus knights. We have three. one wyvern. Three. When's Minerva being revealed? We have three right. Pegasus knights. Wait a second, actually, when's the dark magic is the real question. What? Dark magic. We need dark magic in the game. Please. Leo! Baldar. Oh, Leo is- Leo is- Fuck, Leo is- Yeah, Leo is- (laughs) Yeah, so Leo is under Wyvern. Light magic. Yeah. (laughs) At least has light magic. Um, (laughs) Makaya, what else? Yo, Kyle, Um, what if they added Makaya and not Ike? Wow, I would- uh, Well, okay, actually, I was about to- Um- Kyle, zip up your pants. It's all right. I, I'd be, I would be torn. I would be torn. I don't know. I'd I don't know. How I, feel. I would be torn. I'd say, fuck you. <laughs> you haven't played Radiant Dawn. I don't care. <laughs> you don't know Makaya. All right, so this is a good spot to move on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Move on. before um, Max Knight. The main thing, the other thing that they showed off, uh, I think it was on, I think it was yesterday, not uh, well, like the, the night before. You know what I mean? Yes. History mode. History mode was the big thing that they showed off. Beautiful! I have no idea what it is. Please I explain. love history mode. It's Can you just I think it's cool. that is actually, I actually, uh, I, I honestly don't know what you guys are talking about. Can you please explain? Okay. Even, for, even for the audience, if you too. Elaborate. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they showed off this mode. It's basically, it's pretty much going to be the equivalent of Hyrule Warriors Adventure Mode. Um, oh. Where you, they have, and the way they showed it off is like, there's like, they, I think they were like, five or six different like maps and they're all from like different Fire Emblem games. For example, there's the there are, Fates had the Branch of Fate, Awakening had the Battle with Baladar, um, Shadow Dragon had the Battle with Garneth. Um, there was like I think there was like the the Kaelin map from Blazing Blade in there too. Ooh. Nice. Um, and basically, you know, they you have you have enemies on the map and then you have your own dude. And I think what it, what it, they had is that you, you go to certain enemies to um, battle them and that'll trigger like a battle similar to the ones in Hyrule Warriors where like some of them are like uh, like a traditional battle some of them are like a quiz where you have to defeat a certain enemy oh, in the yeah. arena oh yeah um, oh quiz I'm good at those defeat a number of <laughs> ter- defeat a certain number of enemies in a, in a given time I'm not good and at I assume that. they'll be ranked and stuff but I, I would assume this is where we get a lot of the weapons and stuff and upgrades yeah, yeah, and, and all the secrets costumes and and, but it seems like there's like some kind of, like a little bit of a story involved because I saw yeah. like cutscenes of them talking, which I think is really nice. In the Famitsu leak where they first leaked history mode, they said it would be retelling the story of the game. Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be. Yeah. I, I want to see Ursula in HD in like Lin's campaign. <laughs> like I doubt we're gonna get Lin a ton is the of only Blazing Sword character that we know of. I'm I'm willing to bet that her history mode map is only her campaign. It might be. Yeah, that's, yeah, well, right. yeah, that's I, think, why, I think that's why they took uh, the Kaelin map. Yeah, I think that's that's probably a safe bet. In which case, Ursula does appear in the the, the um, uh, Lin's campaign, so I'm hoping. The I got best my part of FB7. Yeah. So does Elwood, though. Yeah. 
That's true. That's interesting. DLC Not Hector. what? I don't think Hector does, but... Uh... Uh, Hector has, like, a brief cameo. Like, oh, maybe. And he doesn't even have special dialogue with Lin, so, like... Yeah. That's why bother? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I think that looks cool. What do you guys, Wait, what do you Max, guys think? Max, of? Max, this is what we need. One of the yeah. quiz, like, one of the quiz questions is, which character does Shouzu Kagami? Then it's <laughs> Shouzu. God. Um, what do you God. think, Kyle? Um, they should have a quiz question where they say, what's the best Fire Emblem? If you don't pick Path of Radiance, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I agree kidding. with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have, but no, I think History Mode looks amazing. They should have a quiz question, and it should be... It should be... How great are Lin's character? thighs? <laughs> if you say they are, aren't, you. It, the game crashes. Die a higher level. Rip. Okay. I don't but, know. Um, History mode looks great. Um, this is my life now. They, show? <laughs> they showed. Oh, they showed Lin gameplay. I love the way Lin plays. The Shadow Clone cool. Jutsu? I love it. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but I think they, I think they pretty accurately recreated her. Yeah, like. I, um, they basically said, let's take Lin's crit animation and like oh, I love it when she did that. Set on that. I love it when she did that, when she just like split up and turned around. It was so sick. Yeah. yeah. Her, her play style is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Celica, I'm you can see like for sure. Ragnarok like, and stuff. That's what That was cool too. Like she did like specific spells. That was nice. Yeah. She also had Angel. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 what's the Seraphim. Seraphim, yeah. Seraphim, that's interesting. Is, is that from? Is that like specifically from Gaiden? Because I don't remember like getting wings in Echo. I mean, in Gaiden, you just send a bunch of what's it, angels, angels. Like just small angels, like little fairies, yeah, that's little fairies. But I yeah. guess they just like recreated it with background wings. That's interesting. So yeah, that, I think that further proves that they were basing her a lot on her Gaiden incarnation. Yeah, yeah, because Seraphim is just a big ball of light. Echo's version. It's mm -hmm. just like they got the Echo's character design. Cause... Yeah, it's like Hidar. It's like it just went off Hidari's production design and it's like here make this a character yeah yeah I think that, I think that makes a lot of sense um I think I was enough for history mode I want to discuss possible DLC Put Ike in get. the game. I'm gonna Ike say, will be in base game. I'm going to say that the first DLC pack uh, is going to be either an FE7 or uh, an Echo Shadows of Valentia pack. Oh, yeah. Like, I think, I think Gibbon, Lin, and Celica, that's probably the likeliest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. Alm will probably be in that pack, I would assume. I, yeah, I just oh, think yeah. it will. They, some of those packs will like focus on the character that are just like the outliers. Yeah, yeah I like, mean like, because Lin and Silica are like outliers because they're not with any of their fellow comrades mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. So yeah, we probably get oh, like... Oh dude, a, imagine uh, Wrath. A, oh, that'd be great. Oh, imagine boat get, maps. Like, boat? Ooh. Boat maps! Yes! Yeah! I'm that, ready! That, that, could, that, could actually, that could actually work in one. Yeah, they're just awesome. like connected. You just slice them up. That, yeah. Ooh, that could work, I think. I um, like it. <sighs> so yeah, like I think if, if there was an Echoes pack, I think it would have Alm and um, Saber. Maybe like, oh, well, I think I would think they want to keep the sword users out, but who knows? Sonya, Fucking... dude, Sonya, Ball yeah. Bar, Valbo, 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 Val 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 You know the third main character of the game. Yeah. Based <laughs> on the guy need... box art. Oh, Cliff. Guys, my dear. Cliff Valbar. No. Oh. In before Faye. <laughs> No 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 Get the fucking potion. If you don't base boost the shit out of that max, I will be severely disappointed. I I will I'll try. Good. Blazing Blade pack pack will be Elwood and Hector. And like probably someone else. I have a whole vision for Hector. Just put him in the game. I have his whole move set just like down. We don't even have an axe user besides Camilla. Dude, uh, just Lisa. Lisa. And Lisa. Frederick. Oh, that's right. Uh, Never mind. Ignore Frederick. me. And Frederick. And Lisa I don't Frederick pay attention. I guess. Axes. And so I does I. I just want to see Hector spin his axe like a helicopter in 3D. 
3D. I want him All to I take flight, see. man. Yeah, just, just fly happen. up in the air, just slam back down. Dude, they could make it happen, the and it would work. They could make it happen, but they're not. So do you think the DLC would focus on just those two, or...? Well, those would be the first two we get. I think we we get like a bigger expansion pack like after that, probably like Path of Radiance. Yeah, I'm sure they could throw in a couple like like they'll definitely throw in like Talia. Like uh, they'll they're throwing Lucaria. some out of the box ones because remember in Hyrule Warriors when they threw Marin in and everybody's like, wow, that, uh, I forgot that was a game. I love Marin. I love Marin I too. Think, I'll think of that. I think and I think Zerk pointed this out to me. I think. Fire Emblem was a different case because it has so many main characters, whereas mm -hmm. Zelda has like well, yeah. Link, Zelda, and Impa. And yeah, because like I mean, and think about it. Everyone like, else is Zelda always has the same three main characters, so you have to go mm -hmm. to the side characters to expand the roster. Whereas with Fire right. Emblem, you switch out the main cast basically every game. Uh, so mm -hmm. including the main cast is important because that's the face of every game. Yeah. Whereas and that's why I think Warriors, a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the sort of discourse around the game where it's like where's this character where's 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 obro where's um yeah all those people. where's fucking tharja yeah <laughs> i'm like... glad tharja isn't in it no we? yeah, Wait, yeah do we but... do we have a do we have a lance user that's on hood no no oh my god azara uh, they, might, uh, they might let lucina equip lances because they said there'd be class yeah. changing involved I, uh, i'm gonna yeah. think that's i'm, I'm gonna think and that's Krom. promotion so that means we'll probably, we, if, if it is promotion, that means we might get Bo Lin and uh, Lance, uh, Lance. Oh yeah, Lucina, Lucina has a bow, by the way. Like in her special or something. Yeah, she, cause, cause it's basically like, Why, it's though? basically a holdover from her, from her wedding, from her bride class. Yeah, because we all married Lucina on our first playthrough, I'm sure of it. Okay, who, okay, who here married Lucina? I might have. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely did not. I married her I once, and I said, "Not nah, reset." L L R start. Like, yeah, I yeah, I regret it. We have a, we have a saying among us Canadian Fire Emblem fans: Lucina's chest is flatter than Saskatchewan. <laughs> if you've ever been to God. Saskatchewan, you'd know why. Yeah, I think I get it. Christ! Look, I grew um, up on the prairies. Okay. No, I did. I just like I did Cordelia. Kate does not flat. Maybe it is not flat. Omni uh, blade. <laughs> do you think there would be like some? I, I I doubt this, but do you think there would be some like really oddballs? Watch them include DLC blade from yeah. Thrasher like, seven seventy six. Like like some it's like from like Fe four Fe five. Matthew from blade FE7. from Thrasher seven seven six. Oh no no no! Oh my god. Okay, so you want to calm down? Reinhardt. Calm yourself. Yo, they might add Reinhardt. Like, he's actually super popular now. I, yeah, I he's really popular. Him, to be honest. That'd be amazing. Chad Thundercock uh, in HD. God, what's his name? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. Poogie's not his name. I just forgot his name. Both I, No, no, his, the axe yeah. gets in the game. Not, not no, just the, the axe. axe. Just the axe. That would, that would actually make a lot of sense, to be honest. <laughs> I, I could see it since there were a lot of like legendary acts in Awakening that you could get, like Mistletane and yeah, yeah. Orson's or hatchet like was in Awakening, and it, it is yeah. Orson's hatchet is actually hatchet. the honestly, if Odin or Owain got the game, I wouldn't be mad. Just be screaming men and shit. No, I wouldn't be mad either. I'd be, That'd be amazing. I'd be okay. I'd be okay with the with those with that with that trio getting in. I would be okay. Okay, with not it. the trio. I just said. Odin. Well, I mean, but I think I don't think you'd put them separately. I don't think you uh, like Selena Laszlo and. What's his nuts? Oh, jo Josh Odin. is nutting right now. Odin. Oh, yeah. So Josh would nut. <laughs> but I could just, Josh. like... Have, Max, have you ever played Deadpool, like, the game? I've well, seen the uh, No, I haven't. Yeah, it's a pretty bad game. But, um, yeah. anyway, every time he attacks, he just makes, like, a sound, like, boom, boom, shot, shot. That's what I want, o like, a Wayne or... Oh, that'd be cool. That would yeah, be that would, that's Scream great. his special attacks. That's, <laughs> that's what he's gonna do. It's gonna be amazing. I would love it if It'd they just like gave a him power like at least 45 different crit quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least. They no, when, he's, yeah. when he's like low health, we he gotta just kill me. KG Tang, man. Oh god, KG Tang oh. has so much fun in that role. He does. What a saint. He I tweets, think he had, he had like, about that. It's hilarious. yeah, he has like, he used to have like a whole bunch of stuff on his SoundCloud of him being like playing the characters that he plays. He did an argument between Owain and Darshian. Yeah, I think he deleted them, <laughs> possibly because of like legal reasons. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah. Um, 
Because there's that. probably there's probably like some law that says like you can't like play your characters outside of like a certain contract. Or well, something. I don't know I don't shit know. about voice acting, so I wouldn't know. Same. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Um, I think. Um, so I think we're covered on DLC, right? Uh, yeah. 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 So the big the big thing I want to mention is you know I'm okay with the way that the whoops I just kicked my mic. Um, <laughs> nice. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Um, I'm okay with the state of this game, to be honest. Uh, apart from like, you know, Zara, but forget about that. Um, but I hear here's what, something I can't deny uh, about this game and about the discourse, and it, that's that the PR and marketing for this game oh, God, shit. The has so been bad. atrocious. And it's I'd like to really, try really and bad. see if we could pinpoint why. I have no Every idea. Nintendo game. I don't know if they waited for Tokyo, like these certain events, just announced things or. Like, is it just the last minute? But yeah. it's... Uh, I don't know. They've dropped the... I think they've dropped the ball on marketing for Fire Emblem since Fates. Because, like, I, I, I think a big reason Echo suffered in the marketing department was because it only had, like, three or four months to build up the hype, whereas Awakening and Fates both had entire years. And I think we're seeing right. something similar with Fire Emblem Warriors here, is that it just doesn't have enough time to build up the hype. Like, all the announcements seem like rapid fire and it feels like we're getting more information than we should be and like it's just delivered us to us in a weird way the way i think it should have gone there is just... i think i think it should have been like similar do you guys remember like the hype around like smash brothers brawl yeah. that, yes. yes that i would love love like a like a dojo like a smash bros dojo kind of like announcement style yeah where like yeah. every like day or even every week there would be like something new on the website or yeah like to, smash 4 did the website like, every a day mode or like something i yeah. think that would be an interesting way to build a pipe that way it's not like um like a so much blank space and then oh blah, 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 here's a bunch of stuff yeah, yeah. It, it just feels like they're, cool. they're front loading all the information onto us in big lips and mm. i don't know it's just it, a slow trickle, I think, would be a better way to build up hype over time. Also, I think mm -hmm. uh, Koei's just uh, with the way that they, what the way they started out announcing stuff for this game, it be it was a PR yeah. nightmare. They've definitely the got ever since the Nintendo Dream interview, they've gotten their crap together really well. Uh, but before Somewhere. that, it was just a PR a total PR nightmare. Yeah. I think it's just a lot of the, a lot of, the, you know, they were trying to justify a lot of choices because of the way they were, like, showing stuff off. Yeah. They had to sort of justify a lot of their choices. Like, you watch uh, the treehouse. The justifications weren't really, like, like logically sound, I don't think. Yeah, like, you watch the like, treehouse uh, live uh, presentation of Fire Emblem Warriors. They spend, like, two minutes addressing, like, oh, s more people who aren't sword users are coming. And then the rest of the presentation is one of the female characters talking about how much she wants to ride Xander. Yeah, that was like <laughs> that was like 10% of it. That was beautiful. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's the Treehouse presentation in a nutshell. Like, well, you, you've now is, seen it. Treehouse is a whole other fucking mess. Uh, what, what's your name, just... Audrey? Is her name Audrey? Audrey, yeah. So, yeah, 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 there was like an interview just... making like kind of fun of her, like, oh yeah, we, we, like, we, we like that our, our employees are having fun with the game, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you want to fire her, don't you? And like, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... I don't know. I think it's also minutes talking here's another it's thing. Just weird. Here's another thing. I think it's a it was some because I think the, especially earlier they started off with this. Uh, they were focusing I think way too much on the story of the game. Oh yeah. And I think that's were a, they? That was I, a don't, huge I don't even know. Mistake. Like, <laughs> is there a story in this game? Yes. There's yeah, clearly it is. Because that's all be they terrible. were showing. Dragon the final boss. Mother, mother dies. Mother dies. Darius equal dark dragon. <laughs> Stop Dark Dragon. It's because, like, they were always showing, <laughs> like, this, the story, suits. especially, like, the, especially because, like, a lot of the earlier, like, trailers were all about, like, oh, friendship, we're working together, and I think the that real really super threw power off. power of teamwork. Yeah, I think that really threw, like, everything off. Yeah. It was just really, like, not right. I can't really explain it. And I think that was a big problem with the early, especially with the earlier stuff. They got, oh, yeah. they sort of got it together later on. Yeah. But they, they were really not showing gameplay. And I think that's yeah. what people wanted to see. Yeah, because yeah. no one plays a Warriors game. For this. Nobody plays no, a I'm Warriors sorry. game for the story at all. I I completely agree with you, Nazaro. And like, if people are saying like, oh well, the gameplay and like, why are you concerned about the character roster? It's like, it's then the I just game. play normal Dynasty yeah. Warriors. 
Yeah, if like, I wasn't concerned the about the character roster, I'd play normal Dynasty Warriors. So, like, the character roster and the gameplay are the two selling points of this game, and I have no idea why they were focusing on the story. So, I completely agree with you there, Matt. Yeah, like, like, okay, I'm gonna bring up Dragon Ball Fighters because that okay, game is getting hurt. so much hype. They mm -hmm. are like, they're releasing characters. They're like releasing which characters they're gonna put in, like, like once every month, I think. Because that's what people really want in gameplay. Yeah. They just yeah. now announced, like, oh, it has they're a story. Oh, well, yeah, they're, sh they're showing a lot of gameplay for that game, and I think that's what they should have been doing here. They should have yeah, been... absolutely. Like, and, like, with the occasional, like, blip about a, the story, like, they're showing occasional blips about, like, this, you know, this, the this story interesting story be... with, with, you know, the Android 21 character. Yeah. Um, just a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, just, I think just that's just what they should have done with, like, these new... I think they did that with, the, with these two newer characters... I think they would have been received a lot better than they currently are. Yeah. Like the um, Lemon Twins you're talking about? Yes, the Lemon, the lemon Twins, as oh, we like to call them. Oh my god, their yes. designs, I can't get over them. I, I, yeah, their designs are bad. Let's, we could get over that, but I think the way they've been presented have put the audience against them. Because oh, yeah. they're so, they're such a, they've been such a focus yeah. of yeah. the marketing. Yeah. That it's kind of like, well, why should we care? These are two new, these are two characters that we don't know. Like, I don't remember Hyrule Warriors, like, hy hyping up Sia or Lana all that much. It hyped yeah, up Lana really. a little, but... Yeah, Lana they did hype up. Sia was Lana just like, hey, I, I Sia mean, was... She, she was playable. Sia was the Camilla of the game that she was like, whoa, is that kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but they, they Lana didn't even was talk hyped about up. Sia, like, at all. Like, like, I bet everybody after Sia's reveal had, like, the Keanu Reeves Matrix face. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. He's from Winnipeg, eh? Keanu Reeves? Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. The more you know. Yeah. Anyway, then the video. How I think, uh, how, I think how I think, the uh, trailers for Hyrule, well, not Hyrule, Fire Emblem Warriors should have gone is, like, it should have been like unravel a mystery about the shield of flame and halt a dark dragon, and then just the next minute of the trailer is just gameplay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. And I think I think like some like Smash Brothers style reveal trailers would have would have su would have sufficed like one character at a time. Yeah. Like it, um, yeah. just showing their game instead of just like rapid firing like oh royal yeah, royal like, royal oh, royal look, all like no it's like all these awakening characters and then like boop, boop. yeah all these face characters and then like. And then it'd, yeah. be, it'd, uh, it'd be like a modern episode of The Simpsons. We see the Lemon Twins running away from some enemies, and there's like, we need help. Look, up on that ridge. Oh my god, it's Lynn from Blazing Sword. Trailer oh, ensues. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. That's, yeah. So I think, TV. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how this game is going to recover, if, if this game is going to be super harmed by the way its PR and marketing has gone. Uh, I'm more concerned about the fact that it's seven days before Odyssey. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. That. yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's, that ooh, is not fun. good. But at the same time, people are going to be picking up switches, and they won't just want Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Heck and slash. Don't talk about Breath of the Wild. They'll be like, oh, I want to pick up Fire Warriors. Well, I reckon my, I recognize I Mars. I don't, know. No, I I don't think Fire Emblem has a big enough name or like market share to like really compete I, with uh, Odyssey. I disagree or even, with that. I, I even, disagree with that I, entirely. I do remember a uh, Serene's Forest post saying that if they put Marth on Shadow Dragon's like cover, it would have probably sold more because no one know like no one knew where Marth was from. It was like, oh, Smash Brothers guy. That's probably that's probably yeah. true. Yeah, that's it's true. definitely true. I would think. Like, I think if yeah. they did it. Um, a Radiant Dawn or Path of Radiance HD and Ike was just front and center on the cover, yes. it would sell. Absolutely. Yeah, like just Absolutely. because Ike. It would sell. Because yeah, Ike. Ike. Crazy. Ike would get, like, if, and they had to make it clear that it was, that is Ike and not just, like, have him, like, in shadow or something like some of the old, older posters did. You need to have mm -hmm. him, like, front and center, like, they have, like, the way they have Echoes right now with, with, with Almond Celica. That's oh, how yeah. they should do. Yeah. That's how they should do. Like, Fire Emblem, like, Fire Emblem has these iconic characters, but they it just, just don't, doesn't rely it on. Doesn't them. mark. Yeah, like yeah. you see, you look at the cover of Fire Emblem Fates and like, who are all these people? Uh, <laughs> and it's a bunch of weeds. Corrin, Corrin, oh, no. <laughs> like Corrin, and Corrin's off to the side. Like it's actually terrible poster design. Like I watched a great video essay on this earlier today, but yeah, you would think Azura is the ocean's great waves, and she's just stuck in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Like I think, mm -hmm. like I think if Fates had like, like Fire Emblem just needs I. Iconography is a big part of, of what I think is holding some of it back now. But I think Almond Celica are a really good sign of that. 
Oh man, don't even yeah, get me started on the better. Echoes poster, I mean, even, man. Even the, even the poster of, of, of Warriors itself, it looks like they've got these the, 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 the key characters front and center. They got Mark, yeah. they have Corrin, they have Kron, yeah. and then they have the two the two major Fates Royals. If like, I was honestly, key. like, even if I wasn't, uh, if I was part of Koei's marketing team, I wouldn't actually put the Lemon Twins on the cover. I'd like, I'd put all the, uh, yeah. I'd put Xander, honestly, I'd put Xander, Ryoma, Marth and Prama and Lucina on the cover. Just call it a day. Honestly, for me, when I look in the cover, I want to see like, oh, look at all this stuff. Like Hyrule Warriors, it had him like just in a motion of fighting, and it looked pretty sick. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors looks kind of okay. I'm not gonna. Say, it just looked kind of boring to me, just to me. But I expected just seeing like, oh, talk to me over here, and then all these all these other characters are just from you know spit what? Out. Like the the poster that they showed at Tokyo Game Show, that's what I would want. To yeah, that's yeah. That, when I saw that, I was like, "Whoa, this All is really these sick!" Characters, like that's a good poster. That was a good I think poster. That, that would be that would that's some perfect if, iconography. If they just like copy, oh, like, can't really copy this because it's pretty long. But if they just like put yeah. that, they put that on the cover, I would have been like, "Wow, this is a cover I would buy the physical version of." Well, actually, I kind of disagree with that because in in that one that they showed off at TGS, they're just standing there doing nothing. In the actual cover case, they're actually holding their swords up and stuff. Well, I think so. Yeah, something, something similar yeah. to that. I, I mean, like, I don't mean like the actual Tokyo. I mean like just them like there similar. doing their own poses, like Hyrule Warriors kind of. Yeah, like some kind of action splash shot, like a Star Wars cover almost. No, you know what poster <laughs> it is? They have they have a cup. They have one. Um... Recently, there was another one that they had where they were in like photos. Uh, so I, I, also, I love the Star Wars posters. That's why I use my edits off That's why I usually base my edits off because I love them so much. They're so ten out of ten. You can just, um, you can just tell what's gonna, ha what's, what's going down in this movie. Yeah. It's great. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the. All right. So. Go ahead. Vendors here. Yeah. Echo's kind of Echo's kind of did that a little bit. Uh, there. there was like a there was like a there was like a splash shot uh, of them. Can't find it right now, but I'll I'll, I'll find it and send it. While we're on splash, we're up, uh, not splash. While we're on like wallpaper and some game art, it's like well, we can use a couple of things. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Just, just 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 have all your friends rushing towards them. Yeah, it's good. Except for uh. Except for Ooh, the, uh, the Max, yeah, Max the... Marth. Yeah. yeah. Which you better be a skin, the by way, the way. Because... Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it is. That oh, yeah, you do they fight. Yeah, they, show, does they, fight. They, do show, they do show her with that mask on. So I think that probably will be. <laughs> mask costume. on, mask off costume. option. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, does, do any of you guys have anything about Warriors to bring up before we go to final thoughts? Um, I think I just kind of want to add the... Um, just the kind of the issue of like people. What was I trying to say? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just yeah, wasted I 30 anything? seconds of the audience's time. I feel I feel validated. <laughs> I can cut it out. Just, just cut, cut it out. out. Just cut it out. Uh, Anaconda. Kyle, no. <laughs> so we're kicking them, right? No. Yep. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, we're we're editing. I'm editing out his audio. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Don't even it's send it, Kyle. Right? Don't even send it. It's dead. Don't bother. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Rest in peace. Rest in, rest in peace. All right. Final thoughts. All right. So, uh, all right. So, why don't we give each? We'll we'll start with. Uh, let's start with uh, Mr. Zerk. What's your final thoughts? On my final thoughts on Fire Emblem Warriors. My final thoughts is as a Canadian whose dollar is completely ass fucked right now. Um, I'm gonna be buying the 3DS version uh, either day one or day two. Uh, I'm gonna probably play through it. I hopefully I'm gonna enjoy myself. Uh, I'm gonna be really excited to recruit and play as Lin for obvious reasons. Uh, I think that the game looks really good. It looks really fun. There's definitely a lot of wasted potential in it, but I think that uh, given time or an ultimate version release, I think those bonds can be mended, and uh, I think I think the game will be good regardless. And uh, as much as I might like to bitch about Ephraim not being in it, like, we got Lin, I'm happy with that, uh, if we don't get Aiko, well, but it, I think it's gonna be a good game. I'm looking forward to playing it, and, uh, well, yeah, if you need my real, like, honest opinions on this game, well, there's a reaction video to me, uh, yelling at the Lin trailer if you really want to see how my thoughts have <laughs> played video. out. Good video, good video. 
Oh, and uh, about that poster, I just found it. You yeah, that's that. what I want for like that. That, that, that would be, I think. Good. Yeah, 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 that is. Put, a put good it on the screen, poster. Max. I would, I would love to see I'll that. Put it on screen. Yeah, and and Lin's dual wielding the Manikari and then her like basic iron katana. Oh, it's so good. I mean, Assault Kadi does in her art. Yeah, a bit. No, it's um, just a anyway, basic okay. iron katana, and then the other one is the Manikari. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Naz, your turn. Okay. Uh, as much as I bitch about the game, I don't think it's gonna be a bad game. I mean, again, play for story. I get when people get mad that they don't see their favorite characters because Warriors games, like Warriors mashups with other companies, all based on the characters and stuff like that. But as a game, it's looking to be pretty alright. Uh, I'm probably gonna get it. Yes, yes, cool. I'm going. I'm oh, going to get the game. okay. Ooh, all right. <laughs> hey, awesome. I didn't say. I, hey, hey, hey! I didn't say I was gonna like it. But again, <laughs> I, I, you said you were I will probably. It. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. I, I will probably somewhat in, try to enjoy myself with the game, and now my mother is calling me to get my fried chicken. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Okay, do it. All right, so then I guess while, while Naz gets his fried chicken, Kyle, would you like to have this? Yes. While this Naz game... Like, you go next. You go first. This game is going to be good. It's going to blow Nier Automata's story out of the water with this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just get, sure. Just get Tell twelve thousand endings. <laughs> twelve thousand endings, though. No. Okay, but for real, this game's gonna be good. I'm excited to pick it up, and uh, I'm I'm a little upset. There's no Zara, you know, I was really expecting, but I'm not gonna like say this game's garbage because it doesn't have a Zara, Makai, or Kana in it. But you know, mm. it's gonna be a good game. I'm excited. You should pick it up. If you're one of those people who comments this game is ruined because it doesn't have all my favorite characters in it, you need to get off YouTube. Thank you. Uh, Kyle. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Kyle. There Kyle, were there, that, were those the. What? If uh, if uh, they replaced your pre-order with a Switch port of TMS, would you be mad? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Switch TMS is better than Warriors. Game of the year. Better than Odyssey and Breath of the Wild and Nier Automata. Goodbye. I think I set him off. Good. Oh, okay. Max, uh, your final thoughts. My final thoughts, um, I've been, as someone who's been sort of very on top of the coverage for this game, uh, seeing the, seeing the discourse, seeing the marketing, seeing everything related to it, someone who's been following it very closely, um, you know, I, I, honestly, I would agree with Kyle, I think it's, I think it's gonna be a good game, I was sold from, I was sold from the word go, regardless of the character roster, I didn't see any way it could be bad regardless, um, but at the same time, I recognize that it could it could be more and that people will be upset about that. And that's fine. People will people will think the way they want to think. But I think it's also important to, you know, let people who are excited for the game be excited for the game. And, you know, you could bring up points that like you say, I wish this was this, uh, this was this, but you know, say, this game is ruined, this is an insult to Fire Emblem! I think it's just a little over the top. I yeah, they, they need to just calm down, down at that point. Yeah, yeah I think a lot, of, a lot of people are getting very... It's I hate, to use, the I hate to use like, the word, but elitist about it. Like, mm. people uh, have a right... People have a right to be upset about it. Uh, I was certainly upset about it before uh, certain things happened. Uh, but... Guys. Lynn. Yes. <laughs> bicycle shorts. Um, but, like, you have a right to be upset about it. You completely do, but I don't think you have, like, the, the same kind of right to say that people can't think the game is good in any respect. Like, mm -hmm. I got a comment the other day, uh, it was a guy, he said that the character roster didn't save Fire Emblem Warriors from him because he thought that the gameplay looked monotonous, and I said to him, good for you, if you don't think the gameplay appeals to you, that's fine. You have a right to not be appealed yeah, just, to just by the gameplay. It. Just don't play yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's yeah. I think that's that's exactly what I say. It's like if if you are really upset about it, it's simple. Don't support it. Don't buy it. Exactly. Vote I, I would, I, uh, and I I would honestly suggest that because you know if it's it's your money, it's your message that you're sending. You can do as you please, but I think it's you know. Don't attack others. Leave it. Leave it yeah. there. Yeah. That leaves your message at that point. 
Vote with your I wallet, think. not with your words. <laughs> Yeah. Well, don't, don't vote with your... You could vote with your words, but don't vote with your harsh words. Yeah. Don't be a dick about it. Chill. Just, just make sure chill out. Just chill about it. It's all, it's all good. It's the only oh, game. Okay. Why you have to be mad? <laughs> it's it's only just game. Why you have to be mad? TMS um, skins, though? Yes. Oh my god, if we get TMS I don't even like the game that much, but I would be down for that. Yeah, no, because that requires the word Miri in the game, and I don't think anyone No, just for Marth, Kata, Navar. But oh. Ellie. It's just Fine. Kate and Navarre and Prom. That would be yeah. it. That would be it, yeah. Yeah. And Marth. Yeah. And maybe Tiki. I don't want Oh, you're right! Kyle, you're going to jam! We need I need we need to we need I'm to have someone to we need to jam. have someone call the player Oni Chan constantly. Okay, I, I got I'll recommend Kyle to rehab place after this, it's okay. <laughs> okay. yeah. Oh my God! I'm looking Damn. at this. Moment. All right, I think I think that's I think that's wraps everything up for. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. People Great job! Thank like you. Great I job! I think that's. <laughs> I think that I wraps everything up. Uh, thank you to the three of you guys uh, for joining me. Their links to their channels are in the description Ooh. and the end card. Go watch them and their stuff. I have, no, I'm I, close have to please, I have a script. I have a video in. The, will you stop <laughs> plugging yourself I, I, while I'm plugging myself? I gotta promote. You're being plugged already. Like, don't plug yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check your privilege. New video <laughs> coming soon. There's a script on it. It's about Ike. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Tinderable Warriors. Bye.